Tahrir Square over the weekend, Democracy Now!'s Sharif abdel spoke to an Egyptian physician named Dr. Ali al-Mashad, who was participating in the demonstrations. He said the longer the revolution lasts, the more beautiful it becomes. My name is Ali al-Mashad. I'm from Cairo. I'm a doctor, physician. I see that the more delayed or the more late his decision to, to go away is, the more creative, the more beautiful is the revolution. So, I want him to give us some more time <laughs> to do or to, to make a more beautiful revolution, a more historical revolution, a more creative one, a more distinguished one. That's it. It was very ultra violent, ultra violent. But thank God we're here. I don't know why. I don't know how. Did you ever expect the Egyptians to be able to do this? No, whatsoever. And, and I didn't expect we, we can overcome these, these policies and these armies. We face gas, gas bombs, and, and I, I was dying, I, I was gasping. Oh, eight days now. Spent the night here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I went home for three to four hours within these eight days. Wow. To take a bath, take a shower. To sleep for two hours, couple of hours, but I'm sleeping here. I'm living here, and I don't want to go back home. My wife is coming now. She, she was striving to come, and I said, leave the kids and come. Why not? You think it'll work? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure it, it is working. It is working. We have succeeded. I think, I, I think after Wednesday. After the massacre of Wednesday, I was there. I was in the first line there, and I took one of the. I, I took an honor here, a, a little honor compared to the, to the other people who took. I, I know one got, went to the hospital six times to get stitches. Six times, and returns back to resume war. He was fighting. He was fighting like a soldier without any training without any organization, without any past history. I don't know why, I don't know how. But I saw the people, the youth, fighting, fighting like, like death. 15 hours, for 15 hours. I can't believe it. At 3 o'clock a.m. Thursday, I was sure we are down. We can't resume. So I prayed to God. I couldn't, I couldn't throw stones. I couldn't do anything. So I stood up with the people to die with the people and started praying. Then I decided to go to sleep. I, I couldn't, I couldn't stand up. At five o'clock, I had a phone call from my wife. She said. You're leading. You, you had the victory already. I said, how? How come? After one, uh, one and a half hours of sleep. Then my colleagues came. They said, the, the, the army, the, this, this army that the, they brought to us has gone. It has gone. We are, we are controlling the bridge. I said, we are controlling the bridge. We are controlling the bridge. They said, yeah, and also, we have three. We have three deaths. I didn't get sad. I said, that's it. That's how the revolutions, that's how the revolutions succeed. By this blood, by this blood, by this clean, clear youth who are dying, who are dying for the country, for the rights, for, for their future and the future of their kids. I told my wife at the phone, tell my
my kids if I if I passed away here. Tell my kids, your father was a man, was a man of his word. He stood up for his rights, for your rights, and he he go he went away for you. So don't lose this. And I was sure that this may happen. I'm sure till now this may happen. I'm ready to it. I'm trying to be ready to it. I'm trying real hard to be ready. To be ready for bullets, for fire, for the last fight. I'm ready. I'm trying. I'm trying to be ready. I think I think he'll go easily. I'm sure. I'm sure he'll go. I think he'll go easily. But I'm putting all the odds. He may, he may not go easily. So, we'll fight him to go hard. But he'll go. Three days, four days, two weeks, a month, a year, he'll go. He's been, he's been, he's been judging us. He's been stealing us. He's been fighting us 30 years ago. So, we are ready to fight him a year, two years here. Everybody, every, every single drop of blood which is shed here is one of the, is, is one of the, of the steps towards victory, towards freedom, towards history. We're writing history here by the blood of our youth, by our blood. We all know that. <laughs> when I felt the first drop of blood on my head, I was very happy. Yes, I was right. very happy. It's my first time. Yes, that's right. It's my first time to shed blood here. I, I used to do this all the time. I used to protest against all the decisions. But this was my first drop of blood. So I felt we are near. This time we are real near. This time we are almost. We, we will never give up. We will never yield. He is the man who will give up. Soon he will go away. And I, I'm telling him here, Go away now, go away now, or you'll be killed.